Good morning everyone. I am Dr. Akshata Pawar. I am a consultant general and laparoscopic surgeon at City Neuro Center Hospital at Uppal branch. Today I will be telling you briefly about thyroid and its diseases. Now thyroid gland is a small butterfly shaped gland at the base of the neck. It is wrapped around the windpipe. This thyroid gland it secretes a few hormones. You have T3 and T4. So these hormones basically they affect all the cells in our body. They are uh, if the gland secretes too much of hormones, then you have a condition which is called as hyperthyroidism. If the gland secretes too little hormones, then you will end up with a condition which is called as hypothyroidism. So the when the gland is functioning at the correct rate and the correct hormones are uh, being produced, then the body metabolism goes on at the proper rate. The control of the thyroid gland is from the pituitary gland in the brain and the pituitary gland is like a supervisor. If the thyroid gland is secreting less or too much of hormones, then the pituitary gland releases its, its hormone that is TSH which will go to the thyroid and it will tell the thyroid what is to be done. So whenever there is any increase or decrease in the thyroid hormone secretion, then you get thyroid diseases. So you have hypothyroidism, hypothyroidism again there are many causes, the most common cause is iodine deficiency in our diet, other causes may be because of there is a condition called Hashimoto's thyroiditis. So Hashimoto's thyroiditis is when our body's own cells they react against the thyroid cells. There is a temporary hypothyroidism following childbirth and also some forms of thyroiditis also cause hypothyroidism. This is again more common in females. Hyper that is excess production of uh, thyroid hormones can occur when you have some few nodules or lump in the thyroid gland. It can occur in a condition called as Graves disease in some thyroiditis and also when there is excessive iodine intake which may be because of some medications which you may be taking for some other illnesses. So how do you diagnose thyroid illnesses? So first is a clinical diagnosis when you go to your doctor, the doctor will examine your neck. Sometimes you will, uh, it is asymptomatic, there, is, there are no symptoms. Sometimes you may have a small lump or a nodule in your neck. There may be goiter which is enlargement of the thyroid gland. And when we confirm that the patient is having uh, symptoms and signs of thyroid, then the next thing what we will do is we will do uh, blood investigations. So you have your uh, thyroid function test, we do the TSH, we see the T3 and the T4 and additional tests we may do like thyroid antibodies and we may do an imaging like an ultrasound to confirm the presence of nodules. So hypothyroidism as I said is more common in females. So how do you know that you know you may be having uh, hypothyroidism? So hypothyroidism usually it develops over a period of certain uh, years and the symptoms they depend on the severity of the uh, condition. So you may have tiredness, you may have weight gain, you may have coarse hair or thinning of hair. There is a decreased heart rate what we call as bradycardia. There are menstrual ir irregularities, there may be heaviness in the periods or irregular menses and there, are, there is uh, muscle aches may be there. So when all these symptoms are there, that is when uh, we evaluate and we do the necessary test. Whereas hyperthyroidism as I told, it is because of increased production of thyroid hormones. So when the production is increased, the body metabolic rate is also increased. So the symptoms are slightly different. So you will have weight loss despite your increased appetite, there will be increased nervousness and anxiety. There will be increased heart rate what we call as tachycardia, you will have palpitations, irregular heart rate, you will have moist and sweaty palms, there will be increased sweating even when you are sitting under a fan you will have increased sweating. Again there will be some other forms of menstrual abnormalities. So all this when we have so we do the necessary test. And in case it is hypothyroidism, then usually if it is because of iodine deficiency, then we supplement with thyroid hormones in the form of tablet. And if it is hyperthyroidism, then the 
we start with a medical line of management we start anti thyroid medications which will help control your uh, thyroid production hormone production it will decrease the production of hormones or we do something called as a radio iodine therapy to again decrease the production of hormones or the other option is also surgery now in these thyroid diseases all thyroid diseases we don't advise surgery so there are only specific uh, indications for surgery one may be when there is presence of nodules or lumps in the thyroid gland second is when the uh, gland is so big the enlargement of the gland that is goiter is so big that it is causing compression symptoms like uh, it is uh, compressing on your food pipe and causing difficulty in swallowing if it is compressing on your wind pipe and causing difficulty in breathing other indication is thyroid malignancies uh, that is cancers and hyperthyroidism we do advise surgery if the medication patient is not able to take medications or after a period of 6 months to 1 2 uh, years and if the patient does not want to go for radioiodine therapy thank you